drive through for one of the Aston Martins there, but it's lights off and away we go. But we do unfortunately have a safety car as soon as we start. Five lights decide to go. And they've gone now. The Ferrari's gone. It didn't look like the Alphatari got to the best of starts there. As Jordan is going to be closing, the, uh, you know, up the back of that Alf uh, of that Alphatari. But I think Jordan goes a little bit wide out of farm. Blake is all over the back of that McLaren as well. And so is CT Echo as well. And I think going side by side there. Well, we're, actually, the two Alpines, the two Alpines are fighting of Boulding and XX Yeats. You don't want to see two, uh, you know, teammates going side by side through there. And I believe Moors is challenging on the Red Bull of Millard. Millard actually loses out to two positions and is probably going to try and retake one of them of the Williams of Overtaker. It's going to be side by side through, you know, through Woodcut. Millard just holds on. And Cristela has actually gotten past Overtaker as well. So a good move from Cristela. Still but managing Christella. to hold the lead. And I believe CT Echo and Blake are going to go side by side into, uh, into Stowe. But CT Echo just holds position for now. So good driving from them. But I believe there's a rubble that's going to send it. of Benjo down the inside of the Haas. Just has to back out. The move was quickly closing out of, uh, out of Aintree. And I believe Cristela is going to send one down the inside of the Williams there. But the, the uh, Cristela has spun it. Not what she wanted. Has to stay put for now. But what some battling that was from those two drivers. Because I believe XX Yeats are going to be making a move. But up at the top there, Jace has gotten past the Ferrari of five wise. And Jace is now leading the sprint here in Silverstone. And I'm pretty sure Jace will be happy about that. I'm not sure if Five Wise will be able to stay with there. But, you know, Five Wise going very wide there. Is Jordan going to have a look to make a move on the DRS? Burns DRS. Is he going to go to the inside of the outside? He's going to elect to go down the, in, you know, you know, down the inside. Jace covers off the inside very well. He goes wheel to wheel around the outside. And I think Jace probably pushed him off a little bit. And Jace does lose some positions. And Jace even loses a position to Jordan as well. Five Wise has retaken the lead of the sprint race, literally in the final corner. And Five Wise comes to win the sprint race for the British Grand Prix. Jordan finishes P2, Jace in P3. And what a sprint that was from the top three. And here we go to five red lights for the British Grand Prix. Tier four, season four. And the lights are off, and it's a safety car. The exact same start that we had for the uh, for this. I think Five Eyes has gone now out of Veil, vale, exactly where they did for the start. And it looks like Kaboom gets a five-second penalty for a collision as well. But away they go. And I believe Cristela is making a move on Isaac, as you can see there. Although Isaac getting very wide there and letting a lot of drivers through there. It looks like Cristela probably had a bit of a bad start as well. Losing some positions as well. And it looks like XX Yeast is going to try and make the move on Cristela as well. But they can't do that. Getting past Millard as well, as you can see there in the front battle. But it looks like Millard is going to try and, you know, take it back around the inside of, of Luffield. And they do that very well. But Overtaker now is going to probably have a look on the uh, on the Red Bull as well. But doesn't. Stays behind for now. Let this battle play out in front. But there is a massive DRS train. And Benjo has actually gotten past the Ferrari as well. Benjo into the lead of the race of the British Grand Prix. Although he's on the medium tyre. Five Wise is on the slower tyre. Will Five Wise get the pace advantage towards the end of the race? We'll see how that plays out in the mid part of the race. Millard has, uh, no, not Millard. Boldy has spun around as well, which has allowed loads of drivers to get past. And that is Boldy demoted down into P14. Not what, you know, not what they would have wanted in the... Jordan is going to make a move on the Ferrari of Five Wise. Will Jordan be able to do it? Goes around the outside. It's a little bit side by side, but I think Jordan just does it. And stays within the track. Jordan up into P2. The Ferrari dropping down a few positions. But once again, those top two are on medium tyres. But as you can see, Jace there having to defend off Millard. But Millard 
has the pace advantage. And Jason spun it. I do believe the Ferrari clipped the Alfa Tauri there. And I'm pretty sure the Alfa Tauri might be reporting that to the stewards after the race. So they are racing each other. There's no tire, you know, tire strategies for them just yet. And Jordan has gotten into the lead of the race. And I think Jordan will be very happy about that. If Jordan holds this off, then he could be on pay. You know, he could be on par to win this race. But like we said at the beginning, five Ys and Bs still are on those cards. And they will be hunting down those two towards the end of the race. Looks like it's another... going into Brooklands. Millard has gotten past five Ys as well, as we saw in the background there as well. Millard up into P4. Good drive from that Red Bull. And Joe looking all over the back of the McLaren. The Red Bull goes to the outside and makes the move into Stowe, but it's still going to be side by side. Those two drivers, this is a battle for the lead of the race. Has Ben Joe got it done on Jordan? I think he has. And into Vale and Club, I think the Red Bull is ahead of the McLaren. I can need to see an outside shot. I don't know who's in front. I don't know who isn't. But there you can see Benjo is in front of the McLaren. I had no idea how many rounds these two drivers have been going at it. But there you can see Jordan getting past the Red Bull with such breeze. The better tyres for this race. Echo has retired from the session and that has brought out a safety car. Did he see Echo do it on track or was he in the pits i think he might have actually done it on track which is probably why it's brought out the safety car and i believe there's safety car comes in and millard goes now jace has got a five second penalty for speeding in the pit lane and they are going i don't think jordan got the best of getaways there i don't even think benjo did either and those behind as well probably got a slow getaway as well i don't think there's moves but however there is a move here on with execute and isaac XAC goes down the inside, the hazard's right there on the outside. Now it becomes the inside for turn four, and Isaac just stays ahead. But Isaac has somehow got a penalty for ignoring a yellow flag. Um, so maybe that might have been an unfair one. I certainly didn't see a yellow flag, so maybe he might look to uh, get that removed. But Fading Squash goes down the inside of the Alpine. The Alpine just manages to stay ahead, though. It looks like these two Aston Martins are fighting there. As it looks like Kaboom has spun there and collected Moores with them. And Moores is not going to be very happy with the Aston Martin about that. And I'm pretty sure that will be sent into the stewards as well. Four track limits. Millard had an awful exit. And he's going to be swallowed by Jordan and Benjo. Probably Jordan retakes the lead of the race. And so does Benjo as well. Millard loses positions. And now Benjo is going to be wanting to try and take down the McLaren as well. It's going to be the same as we've had before that safety car these two drivers are going to be going at it millard and christella are going at it i do believe or i think it was actually millard and Baze. Bayes loses and christella gains christella in p4 with no penalties probably actually in the net lead of this race on the mediums can they push those mediums to the end we'll have to wait and see though but down the inside goes boldy and pushes Bayes off a little bit and i'm pretty sure Bayes will be wanting to uh you know have that looked at by the stewards you know the driver i think it's probably just a case of wrong uh you know wrong place at the, at the wrong time but christella there into p3 they're gonna get elect to go down the inside and jordan's back up into the lead of the race but with penalties i wouldn't be so sure i think jordan actually gets a bit out of shape there and that's allowed christella to uh, christella's overtaking benjo Cristella is up into P2 of the race. Tires. Will Cristella be able to retake the lead of the championship? But no. With there being another safety car for the Alpha Tauri of Failing Squash, who has retired from the race. And I do believe Jordan has gone now. And now Cristella has been dispatched to try and get past these drivers. And you can immediately see with that you know with the uh you know fresh soft she's gonna go down ascend down the inside of the williams and a good move there and i do believe the red bull is gonna get past as well however the red bull is actually gonna go side by side with the williams and that's benjo pass as well as we see christella still just chasing down the gap 
closing up, closing up on the uh, on the Ferrari. There's been a change in the lead of the race, but Cristela is going to be trying to make a move on this Ferrari. The Ferrari goes quite deep into the second part of uh, of the field, and that allows Cristela to have a little bit of a look. Is Cristela going to try and make a move into Cops? I think she's going to back down for that because that's a bit dangerous going into Cops. Again, it is Mercedes, but, you know, it was Mercedes versus Red Bull in 2021. Not Mercedes in Ferrari. However, Mercedes is going to have a try and look down the outside into Magnus and Beckers in Cristela. Up, it is up barely into P3 and now it's and there's a tap there for Benjo and the Ferrari of Five Wise. Five Wise is dropped down into P5, Overtaker P6, Base P7, Miller P8, Max P9, Kaboom P10. Chris Eller is up into P2 as well. So a very good drive from them as well. I was looking down the order, but I just want to spectate Chris Eller. Chris Eller has been absolutely rapid from the safe car restart, has made up four positions in one lap. And I think Chris Eller literally has the mindset of an absolute, you know, lion. She is absolutely, you know, rapid on those softs. I've said it many, many times. And I do believe it's going to be an easy pass on XX East as well. But I'm not really concerned about that. I'm concerned about Cristela as Cristela actually notices a mistake from the Alpha. And it goes down the inside into Magnus and Beckett. Cristela does leave the space, but actually they both spin out. That is not what Cristela would have wanted. And certainly not what Jordan would have wanted either. I don't actually think Jordan actually came off worse. I think that was actually Cristela. Cristela is back down in P13. That is not what Cristela would have wanted. She was... She had the win in her sights. And ERS. Baze is going to look to go around the outside, but I think Blake did a very, very good job of defending that. And I think there's going to be a battle between these two drivers, and I do believe Blake is going to be doing everything he can in order to try and keep this Ferrari behind. Maybe. And that just got thrown on its head. However, though, Cristela has rejoined. So she's going to see if she can. Well, you know, chaos that we've had. Five Wise has actually just gotten past Jordan. But it's going to be Baze that goes around the final few corners of Vale and Club to go ahead and cross the finish line for the Silverstone Grand Prix, the British Grand Prix, to win here in Silverstone. Blake comes home to finish P2. Five Wise finishes P3. Or P3, uh, P3. P4 for Jordan, Benjo P5, P6 to Jace, but Cristela does scrape into the P, you know, just scrape her McLaren in inverted commas into P5. So some good points for Cristela and McLaren, but it's not going to be enough for the championship lead today. And Bigby, I believe, will be back next week. So it's going to be all hands on that title fight.